Hi there, this is David Ingleby for Dingo Servo Mounts. Uh, I've had some inquiries for people who want to know how to fit a servo motor, like a Dingo Micro 8 or Micro 10, underneath the layout um, and how one goes about that. So this is just a quick tutorial to give you the basics of what I normally do. First of all, you need to lay out your track where you want to uh, have your points and stuff. And uh, this is just a little demo board. Um, but uh, assuming that that is where you want to put your, your point, then uh, figure out where you want to use your drive pin. I'm going to use this edge over here uh, for the, the drive pin. And what I'll need underneath that is a slight slot about six millimeters long maybe a little bit longer just so i've got room for the the pin which is on the end of the server that pin there needs to be able to move happily through that slot so one quick way to do that is to take your turn out there and then just mark uh, the two extremities of the point uh, another little trick that i always do is to take out the little spring uh, in the turnout over here because that will stop the thing from working nice and smoothly. Um, so take out the spring, mark out where that is going to be, and then um, you can go ahead and cut a little slot like that, just with a drill through your baseboard uh, that will allow that pin to drive through. Once you've done that, you need to then fix your point to the baseboard. Right, so now we have secured our track to the baseboard. I've done that with two small screws through the sleepers there, so it's in position. The next thing is to take the servo and with one of these little um, servo testers to set the servo exactly in the mid position. And that position there is now in its central point. I can then disconnect it from the server. Now, um, we need to get this up through underneath the baseboard. This is the tricky bit. What I tend to do is extend the, the pin uh, a fair way up by loosening the three screws over here. Oops, there we go. That one, that one, that one and then adjusting the pin up quite high and then locking just the center pin just to hold it then one needs to fit in from underneath the baseboard and uh, a bit tricky with the camera this but um, hey ho we can uh, find the hole there here we go through the hole as you can see the pins coming up there and then what I tend to do is I put a small um, clip on the top to hold it in place now we can go to the underside of the baseboard and we can um, then mark the holes for the two screws Right, once the two screws are in and the unit's in place, uh, then one can take off the clip on top and then adjust the pin down to the right height. So I just slack that one off a bit because I left the other two loose. I can then slide that all the way down so it's at the right height and then lock it up. Lock the middle one first always middle screw that one there first and then the other two now that is in position at the moment the two switches are still right to the outside edge of the mount and now we're going to test it once again we'll plug on the old tester this time though we want it in its normal movement place and now we can 
check that the server moves from side to side nicely. You can see that. Right, so that all works. Put it back in the center. The next thing you need to do is to uh, hook up your normal operating software and then set the two endpoints of your server. Once they set, you can then slack off uh, these screws under here and then move the, the switches in to give you your endpoint switch. And that's all there is to it. I hope that that uh, is useful and uh, please let me know if you want any more information. We also have a little jig which you can use to set up the micro 10s and the micro 8s. Um, that is a very simple little plate. All it does is it fits over the top here and when you line up that hole in where you're going to put your, your uh, drive pin with uh, the one small hole and it'll give you the two other holes where you need to drill your um, your screws for your, at least the, the pilot hole for your mounting screws. I thank you for watching.